What's good with y'all boys and girls? It's Waffles here. And I was just thinking last night that we should have test servers and fighting games, all right? Now, if you don't know what a test server is, think of a game like Rainbow Six Siege. It actually has test servers on PC where people can go on PC and they can actually test out the patches of the game before it even comes out. And you know, they can give like their opinions and stuff like that. And the reason why I feel like we should have test servers for fighting games is because a lot of times when these fighting game patches come out, they don't actually give the fans what they want. Like people always feel like something is broken or, you know, it might break something else like online might not work or, you know, the new patch might bring new glitches as insane as that sounds. So like having a test server, like I wouldn't even be mad if they had like pro players and YouTubers that had like, you know, exclusive access to the test servers. As long as someone has access to these test servers to kind of check the game out, like balancing wise, um, glitch wise, bug wise, stuff like that. So that way we can kind of get feedback from these pro players and these YouTubers and we can all have a conversation before the patch drops. Because a lot of times when patches drop, they don't really address everything that needs to be addressed and it kind of leaves like a salty taste in the consumer's mouth. The most recent patch for Mortal Kombat 1 for example, a lot of people were saying that the Johnny nerfs may not have been as big as they needed to be. A lot of people were actually talking about different cameos needing buffs and different characters needing buffs. Other characters also needing nerfs. As you guys know, patches do not come very quickly, especially in fighting games. Unless there's like a huge bug that's like breaking the game, or like a huge exploit that's like breaking the game. And even in Mortal Kombat 1's case, like they had some crazy bugs, like with the infinite, with Sindel, and also the um, thing with the tournament with Raiden actually starting the match before the other character can move. Yeah, stuff like that didn't even get patched, like, immediately, so, like, you know, balance patches do not come very quickly or very abundantly in fighting games. So, to be able to have a test server is very good, in my opinion, because it actually allows, like, us to get everything that we need, like, alright, okay, this patch is not ready yet, this is broken, this is bringing more bugs, this is not working. That way, they don't drop the patch, and we don't have to get an incomplete patch or a patch that leaves us feeling more neat, you know, more is to be desired. And that way, like, you know what I'm saying? When they drop the patch, we won't have to wait months for the stuff that we actually want. Like, we won't have to get, keep getting nitpicked, nitpicked and fed, like, you know, scraps, fed scraps, fed scraps over months, you know? We can actually get what we want when we want it in a full package, you know what I mean? And the test service could actually just be like a weekend thing, you know, like a Saturday and Sunday this amount of hours to this amount of hours and just allow people to just get on the game try out the new patch you know see the new combo route see the new damage compare it to other characters like and this will allow them to do like some very bold things as well so like you know some crazy buffs some crazy new moves and stuff like that they can actually be more bold with these patches and they don't have to be like so scared of like what's gonna happen if they try to do this or if they try to be creative and this and that because we'll actually be able to test these things out before it actually comes to the full version of the game so they won't have to worry about backlash or like over buffing characters or over nerfing characters or anything like that you know because we actually get to try these patches out so i think that would be great for fighting games as a whole not just Mortal Kombat 1 not just Street Fighter 6 not just Tekken 8 but for the fighting game community in a whole because it'll allow everyone to talk and it'll actually bring a lot of fun discussions and content to the content creators for the FGC but there are cons to this and that is the Twitter fingers, the Twitter crew, the Twitter game. All right. It's going to be a lot of people that are going to have crazy companions. I say companions, <laughs> opinions and controversial opinions. And people are just going to be like, oh, my gosh, if these pro players are ruining the game. Uh, this was broken. You know, casual players think that, you know, the simplest thing are broken because they don't know frame data and they don't know the mechanics of the game that they're actually playing. 
So this could be kind of bad for the casuals because obviously, you know, pro players and YouTubers will kind of go more towards like actual balancing and, you know, some may be abusive to this test server or whatever. But I believe that if they let everyone play it, like, you know, how they did the beta, I think that would be cool, you know. Let everybody try out the patch, you know, casuals, intermediates, pro players, YouTubers alike, everybody. And then that way you kind of get like an around the board consensus on, you know, what people think about the patch. You know, is it really balanced and stuff like that. You know, a lot more chill lists will be coming out. <laughs> so a lot more free content for the YouTube creators. But I just want to know what you guys think about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you guys think that the FGC needs test servers? I truly do. I think it, it can function just like the open betas before the games come out. That way we can test these servers out. We can get more fluid, you know what I'm saying? More meaty, full plates when it comes to patches. That we won't have to wait months on end, you know, just for another patch. We can kind of get everything we want. And if we do get a patch, we'll make sure it's at least good, you know, for the balancing of the game and the fun of the game. But yeah, like I said, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. I love having discussions with you guys. You guys always give good criticism. I'm thankful for you guys. Thank you guys for the 2.6K subscribers. I will try to do a donation. Not a donation. <laughs> A giveaway I will try to do a giveaway at the end of this month maybe next month for all of you guys to support you know so just comment down waffles if you guys would like a hundred dollars or if you guys want to go for the two fifties like two people can win 50 bucks or one person wins $100 I want to try to do that by the end of this month or early next month you know because you guys have been supporting me this is my dream I love talking to you guys man and I love waffles and obviously you guys you guys love waffles too because you guys are here so <laughs> hey it's waffles and i'm out peace